How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Mass Beer Reviews, back with another review from Joe. From NEK Beer Reviews? Bradley. Scranton. There you go. We are... lonely. Yeah, lonely on lonely. Tinder. Lonely balls. Lonely uh, balls on Tinder. On Tinder. Um, we are uh, <laughs> popping through a bunch of reviews, and uh, we're ending tonight, most likely, on this uh, Bell Beer, which is their Saturn. Part of their Planet series. I know it's based off someone had a symphony or whatever, but I don't remember exactly what that is. Other than that, um, I went to a little bottle shop on my way back from Canada today. Picked up two beers, Barrel Age Narwhal, and this. Because I, I saw it, and it was a malt beverage aged in um, barrels. So I was like, you know, for $2 a bottle, two and change a bottle, you might as well take a swing on it. So bad. we'll see what we got. Uh, as far as what it says in the label, uh, Saturn. Then it says Bells. Then it says Saturn. Then it says the bringer of old age. I think that's what sold me on this all old age. I was like, oh, they all old age. Close enough. Um, malt beverage Asian oak bourbon barrel casks. Um, this is one of the seven part series inspired by Gustav Holst's musical composition of planets. Strap in and embark on a flavor tour of our solar system in the order of Holst's Beast, Mars, Neptune. There you go. Bellsbeer.com. Uh, this is exactly one month old and it is 11.5 alcohol by volume. Thank you very much. Let's see. Oh, label wise, it's all right. It's Bells. Are you, are you still doing the, like making fun of people with voices? It yeah. comes. It leaks out, baby. Yeah. It leaks out, baby. Because I, I, I don't get any of it. Yeah, no. No, nobody. Nobody does. <laughs> it's inside jokes with Canadian people. It's, it, it's yeah. inside jokes, and I can't help it because I spoke like that for forty straight, so it just comes out of me, and I can't help it. So there you go. Okay. Well, it looks like. Uh, it looks like a cold forty-five double malt. It looks no. It looks like the beer we just had actually, just yeah, not yeah, as murky. It yeah. It looks very old ale, kind of barley wineish. Um, decent head on it. Decent creaminess. Just little, off weight color. Yeah, a little clearer. Yeah. yeah than the one we just had. Oh haze. Yeah. But not, not too, too much. much. But yeah, I mean, it looks like a old ale-ish kind of beer. What, what am I getting on that? A barrel, not bourbon though. You're just getting oak. Yeah, oak, a little bit of like tan. Yeah, a sweetness. Almost it's almost like, like a. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, it's like a charred. Oak, very subtle oak. Um, it's got kind of a spiciness to it. Yeah. You know what I'm actually getting? This is kind of weird. Like pancakes when you're making them. That could be a yeast. Okay. Like the batter. Yeah, like, 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 we, yeah, 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 like the smell of pancake batter. All, All right, right. I can like see that a little floral bit. Floral booze, just the slightest amount. Maybe a little bit of like fruit, but it's very subtle. Yeah. There's booze there. The oak is the biggest thing, but the oak being the biggest thing doesn't mean it's big. It means it's the biggest flavor in a bunch of subtle flavors. Yeah. Or subtle noses or subtle scents or whatever. So yeah, I mean, it actually smells. I I think I'm gonna like it, based off the nose. But we're gonna find out. So here we go. Cheers. 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 There's oak in there. It's oak and booze. Maybe I'm just like you said. Maybe even like a little. Was it pepperiness, spiciness? Uh, yeah, yeah, like that fresh wood, like a fresh oak, kind of spicy. Maybe you know. Maybe I'm just really. Uh, I'm gonna move for pancakes, but I'm getting like syrup, almost like ma maple syrup. Like, oh, it's not doing it now. The head was dissipating in a really weird way. See how it's yeah, yeah. bursting? I don't know, something about it. Yeah. Um, it's, it, is it, it well, first off, <laughs> it's 11 and a half percent. I put it at like eight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, really not. easily drinkable. Yeah. There's really not it's much drinkable. Going on. Really, maybe about a nine, like nine percent, is what it would drink like to me. Yeah, and it's it's really oak driven, but it's not in. And I'm not saying that because it's in your face oak. It's just the biggest flavor for me. It's yeah. A ton of oak. Um, it's not sweet. It's not not sweet. No. It's. I would uh, definitely put like base style probably more in the old ale mm -hmm. category. This being a month old, you know, maybe it's something that needs to sit. Maybe it's it's meant to be sat. Doesn't say that on here, but yeah, sometimes they're like zero bourbon. This is Agent Oak bourbon barrel cast. Yeah. 
There's no bourbon oak. whatsoever. No, this no is aged in oak casks. Mm -hmm. Well, and non, like he said, non-charred oak casks. Yeah. Just straight yeah. oak. Like they went to Home Depot and bought a bunch of oak and just threw it. Like what's, what's, uh, we did a Dominion, uh, barley wine, their Millennium. Uh, they have that fresh oak stout. I think it's like the same type of oak flavor, that little bit of vanilla, mm -hmm. you know, fresh oak. I'm actually getting, like I said, I'm getting almost like tones of maple syrup and then that peppery finish to it. And I, 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 I like it. I mean, I like the way that the flavors are kind of going, transitioning from one to the other. See, the meat of spiciness is almost like a pep, like a, like a coriander, like almost like a, some weird, bizarre, like subtle chili uh, on the back, like it kind of lingers yeah. a little bit. See, I, I tend to get, like, vanilla more out of bourbon barrels, like, like actual, like bourbon, when you yeah. have to taste, like, a little bit of the bourbon in there. That's when I really start to get vanilla. I get a spice out of, um... Straight oak? Fresh, like, just regular oak. Because I think um, the brewery did like that bois. Yeah, bois fr in like fresh oak. Fresh oak and we, we had it up with John's thing okay. a while back. And uh, that was like really, really spicy. I wasn't actually wasn't too big of a fan of it, but it was like. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's a bad beer. It's just, you know, it just is what it is. Um, rating wise, I'd probably give it. It's a weird one because I think it's going to age, and even in like months or even about a year, I think it's going to change into a, a much better beer. But right now, I'd probably give it like an 84. That's my, that's my. Yeah, I'd probably go with a, like a solid B on it. I think it needs, it needs a little bit of something, and I think that little something is time. I yeah. think it needs to kind of come together in the bottle yeah. a little bit more. Being a month old. And being that's the bringer of old age. I mean, yeah. are they I mean, suddenly I mean, hinting at it? I, I think don't everything know. about it, like label wise, says, hey, age this a little bit. Time. I'd like it a little bit, it'd be a little bit more. I mean, I don't like when brewers come along with it, so. But, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I wouldn't hesitate picking up some of these and throwing them in a basement for several years. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm at like a little bit lower than you, about an 80, so like a B. Um, minus? I'm not, be minus. I don't know. I haven't been to school in a while. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but I'm not really familiar with, like, the Bells, like, especially the, the Planet series. But it needs something. Like I said, it, I don't know, maybe just a little bit of time to mellow out and meld together in the flavors. <laughs> but, it, you know, I'm, I'm getting that a lot of peppery. I, I would like to see it a little bit more, a little bit more oak. And, so... We'll see what happens. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, B to B minus range. Uh, value and availability. Like I said, I haven't seen this area, but it's Bells. It'll come this area really quick and quick. Yeah. Um, the, one, the only thing from Bells that I didn't really see around here was uh, the anniversary. This one goes to 11. Yeah. Uh, I, well, yeah, I, I mean, you don't really see did. black, though. You don't see a lot of, like, unique yeah. stuff. But, I mean, this, this whole Planet series, I've seen them on shelves random. Yeah. Um, so availability, I'll, as of right now, I'll give it a three, but it's probably going to be like a six. Uh, value, I mean, I paid two dollars and fifty cents for this, so I mean, you know, that's good value. Yeah, you know, I'll give it a seven. You know, uh, like I said, it definitely be something I think you should age. If you like what should you drink this? Um, if you like English old ales, if you like English barley wines, I think it's something that you should take and let some. That was a Best Buy or like Best Before date. No, that's a bottled on date. Little bottle code. Yeah. yeah, there was something up here as well. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, um, that was something. So, yeah, um, some, if you like old English ales, I think it'd be worth buying and letting it sit. Sure, it's aging oak bourbon barrels, so that can go a little sideways sometimes when aging beers, but I think it's worth uh, aging a, a bottle or a six-pack. So there you go. Another review of the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or didn't, somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comments below. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you like to find us on the internet, so on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tap, Massive Beers in all four of those places. You can find us on nepabeerreviews.squarespace.com. Also at nepabeerreviews on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Joseph. And you can find... <laughs> Lily? Yeah, uh... Billy. Othello. Yeah, Othello. Othello. You, you can find That's me the one on, on uh, Instagram at the general 451 or maybe just hanging out at a local homebrew shop, because apparently that's where I've been seeing a lot. I just look like a homebrewer, apparently. You have glasses in here. 
So there you go. Um, All he needs is the hat. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he wanted to be a homebrewer, not a hipster. Um, so there you go. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice beer right now. Perfect. And hopefully you're not going to get raped by this guy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.